patches that I can wear to monitor my motion and activity. Your analysis uh, dipstick wearable watches called the Basis that tracks my steps. The brain computer interface headset. This biking helmet actually has a sensor. We're entering this era of connected devices on our bodies that when we have smart analytics will help us to a smarter, better diagnosis and therapy. This is Dr. Daniel Kraft, the fast-talking, future-thinking head of exponential medicine at Singularity University. A program that looks at the future of health and medicine and where technology can take us in the future. This is the Health Patch, a disposable silicon patch that goes over your heart. I have on here the ability to look at my live EKG directly on the phone. I can be looking at how many steps I've taken, my temperature, my activity rate, my stress level. It's only 92%, thanks a lot. You can then log onto the web and see this data as well. So if you're my physician across the planet, you could be even monitoring me. A company called Propeller Health has developed a GPS cap that goes on the inhaler, so when a patient uses it, it reports that to the cloud and you can see where and when the individual patient took it, as well as the entire population. This one in particular uh, caught my attention because just with this, you can analyze whether or not you have the flu, right? Spit your saliva in here, the test itself would analyze whether you have different types of respiratory infections. You would use your smartphone to take a picture of the signal, it has a QR code there, and send that to your doctor. How many of these devices actually uh, save us trips to the doctor's office? So we're moving to the digital checkup. If you have a young child who might have an ear infection, instead of dragging them to the pediatrician screaming, you might use this technology from a company called Cellscope that attaches to your smartphone and it lets you, you know, look in the ear, take a video and a picture and send that to your pediatrician. Or there's the ability to now to capture your EKG directly on your smartphone. This company called AliveCore is now selling over the counter in the US and Europe. There's two sensors on the back of the smartphone uh, case. I simply hold the case and it's going to give me my live EKG. This is one being developed as part of the competition to make a medical tricorder so that you as a patient or a consumer at home could use this device, touch it to your forehead, it would pick up your temperature, your respiratory rate, your relative blood pressure, and will communicate that to your phone and from there back to your clinician. You've given us a snapshot of some of the things that are available today, but just give us a kind of a indication of how quickly this technology is moving. So things are getting smaller, faster, uh, cheaper, like the human genome is now at $1,000. We're gonna start seeing the explosion of smart devices like Google Glass that can potentially give you a heads-up display, but also be measuring your brain waves and your vital signs. So the future is gonna be the integration and fusion of a lot of technologies and layering and making sense of that data using smart analytics. These new health wearables may help us feel better. The next step, to streamline them to make us look better too.